situated on Robert Mugabe Avenue, opposite Fidel Castro Street, lies the Christ Church, one of Windhoek's oldest buildings. Since its foundation stone was laid by German settlers in 1907, Namibia has been ruled by three different nations. Germany, the United Kingdom and South Africa have all played a role in Namibia's development before independence was declared in 1990. The Christchurch is located next to the Independence Museum, built to highlight the anti-colonial movement and the struggle for liberation. Despite its turbulent past, Namibia is one of only a few African countries to enjoy relative political, economic and social stability. However, it leads the world in income inequality, inherited from the days of apartheid. In the first of our series of reports from Namibia, we turn our attention to a sporting project named Gals and Goals. This joint venture between the Namibian Football Association and UNICEF aims to empower girls through football and healthy lifestyle choices. Tupa Sibanda is a volunteer for the charity who has helped coach girls of all ages since Gals and Goals was established in 2009. Football has helped a lot. There is greater chances for the girls to finish their education because we keep them off the street. Therefore, they are less likely to indulge in um, unhealthy behaviors because of the life skill that comes with the Girls and Goals program. Therefore, football has become a way of living for some. Many of the players on the current Namibian national women's team pass through this project. Gals and Goals leagues have also been set up in 10 of the 14 regions across Namibia. The project has given young women like Lidiana Nanamus many opportunities. It contributed immensely to my future because today I'm still sitting here and I'm going to study my Bachelor of Science this year. I'm a first year at the Namibian University of Science and Technology. And today I sit as the captain of the under-20 national team only because of Girls and Goals. The Girls and Goals headquarters are in the Windhoek township of Katatura, which translates as the place where people do not want to live. The township was established in 1961, after the forced removal of Windhoek's black population during the apartheid era. Today, Katatura is home to over 50,000 people. It's a lot of drugs in the, in the community. Like, that's why the, the football house was located in Katutura, which is the main um, uh, low, uh, high density uh, suburb. So there's a lot of drugs and alcoholism, it's a lot of teenage pregnancies and girls dropping out of school. So we use football, we use this space to draw them to, to away from the street so that they can be engaged. Jackie Hertzer is the founder of the program, which has so far helped over 18,000 girls across Namibia. With professional coaches provided by the NFA and volunteers across the country, Jackie is able to focus her time on developing the charity. There was and there's always been a need for a place to bring together the girls that you actually earmark to play for the national teams, but also to bring together those girls that have committed themselves to the game through this program that is funded by UNICEF, FIFA and those different partners. The charity recently received a 125,000 US dollars cash injection from UNICEF. It's meant that some of Namibia's best and most disadvantaged players are able to study and train whilst receiving free meals and accommodation in the hostel, which is located within the grounds of the Namibian FA. Because since the age of 10, I joined the Girls and Girls. And um, where I stayed, it's more, it's more or less like people are being influenced, like drugs, alcohol, and also teenage pregnancy, it's also even high in that area. So it helped me in many ways, like abstaining from drugs, alcohol, and also, um, uh, it also improved my living standards. 
Until this project came along, the opportunities for young girls in Namibia to partake in organized sports were scarce. Football is now helping so many here take control of their own destiny. The nicest thing about football is the unity. Like with other sports, it's not the same. Like when you play football, it becomes, we all become one. Everybody becomes a footballer and that is a family actually. And I never actually knew what a family was because I was raised by a single mother. And the love I get at the football field is, it, it is overwhelming. So I decided to stick around with football and I'm not leaving anytime soon. With the aim to have a league in all 14 regions of Namibia, the Gals and Goals project continues to go from strength to strength.